my name is Mark. Today we are going to be going over the stance and guards for foil. To start off with our stance, you're going to have your dominant foot pointed forward directly at your opponent. It should be in a straight line forward. You don't want to be parallel or else you'll roll your ankle. Your back foot should be a comfortable distance behind you, pointed directly at 90 degrees. Squat down, get comfortable. You should be able to move pretty freely from here. Your torso should be not be turned toward, but be turned away from your opponent. This gives a smaller target area. For guards, there's three main sides and then three main um, heights that you would go to. By like being the center, high, low, and then center, outside, inside. Outside, of course, meaning away from your body. Inside meaning across your body and center being aligned in the middle. So off with the most basic stance with the middle guards, you have the most basic guard that you'll want to go into, which is the center middle guard, where you're going to be pointing directly at your opponent. Your handle is going to be roughly hip height, point forward. This is good for some basic offensive maneuvers. You have a lot of variability from here. It does a lot of things well, but it doesn't do any one thing right off the bat, but it gives you a lot of options. You can also have it off to the outside line. This automatically blocks any attacks coming in from the outside, but it leaves you more vulnerable to inside attacks. Likewise, the inside guard will block any inside attacks. You're always going to want to keep your point online no matter where you're at. Although, of course, wherever the point is will be dependent on whether you want to be more offensive or defensive. The more your point is forward, the more offense heavy you are and the more threatening you are. The more your point is back, the more area you cover when you swing your sword, thus the more defensive. Sometimes you're going to want to find a nice balance in the middle. You're not going to want to be all the way extended. You're not going to want to be all the way back, but that will be situational. Um, from the middle guard, you can also go to the lower guard. Lower guards are better for baiting or um, tricking your opponent. These are also called fool's guards because they don't outright protect anything. Or is your opponent the fool for following it? Up to interpretation. The whole point of the Fool's Guard is to have it low at first. This is good for energy conservation, and then when your opponent is to make a strike, you come in and block it from here. So it's you're, you know you're going to have to block up, so that's where you start at the lower guard. Um, this is a very defensive posture. You're not going to want to really launch a lot of attacks from here because your attacks are all obvious, but also all of their attacks are going to be obvious as well. So it's kind of a, a mind game. Other thing is the high guard. You can have a high outside guard, a high middle guard, or a high inside guard. Now these are a little bit more unorthodox, but these are better for blocking down and threatening your opponent through a new line. Because you know, with the um, middle guard or the lower guard, you're always trying to go from essentially the same place. But from a high guard, you're coming above their guard. You have to be careful not to hit them in the face since that's not allowed in foil. Um, but it comes in handy. Higher guards, you're going to want to have your handle about head height, your point facing at your opponent. You can have it off to the side for more defense, or you can have it more threatening to your opponent from here. You can even basically point it straight forward from here. It doesn't have to be not up here. This is bad. More outstretched. This is about head height, no higher. Point as far forward as you can. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next.